hello so today we're going to do my lipstick collection part two and um, we've got most of the lipsticks I think there's only two or one off um, so let's get started the first two are from lipstick queen and this one is um, pink thinner so the thinner range um, as far as I can gather are more pigmented than the Saint range so that's pink thinner just there and then I've got bright rose thinner which is a lot brighter so that's pink thinner and bright rose thinner the next two are from Hourglass the first one is called Whisper now Hourglass's lipstick's got the kind of square topped bullet so I would say Whisper is a sheer colour that's Whisper there where Icon is not a sheer that's Whisper and Icon. Icon and Bright Rose Center from Lipstick Queen are kind of similar. The next two are from Illamasqua. The first one is Scandal. Scandal there. And then we've got Test. These are definitely more matte. that's Scandal and that's Test. Now the rest of them, um, oh no we've got Smashbox so we've got two. This is Smashbox Glamorous. Now I'm not sure if they still make this. It's very similar to Revlon's uh, Black Cherry so if you can't get this Black Cherry would be very similar so that's Glamorous there. And then this is a recenter one and this is Posy Pink. pink. Now the next ones are all one of, um, so it's one from each brand and this is Bourjois Rouge Edition and it's just number four, it doesn't have a colour or a name rather. <laughs> so that's that there and that's number four. Then I've got Laura Mercier's Tea Rose kind of sheer colour. That's tea rose there. Then we've got Marks and Spencer's Autograph Lipstick in Pink Parfait. These are all looking quite similar now. Pink Parfait. Then I've got Dainty Dolls lipstick in number four again. <laughs> it doesn't have a, a name. That's Dainty Dolls one there, number four. Then I've got Beauty UK lipstick in number seven in the buff. which doesn't have a very nice smell but uh, it's a nice colour What's it? there then I've got an Estee Lauder one and it's not in the other the packaging with the other one so I missed it out in our last video with all the other Estee Lauder this is candy so it should have been in that video but I made a mistake that's candy then we've got Clinique's Twilight Nude. So if you can hear a seagull in the background of this, I'm not exactly sure what noise it's making. <laughs> That's Twilight Nude there. Then we've got Chanel's Rouge Coco Shine 54 Boy, which definitely is a sheer. I think it's a 
seagull. Sounds like a crooner. <laughs> That's boy. Here. Then I've got Soap and Glory's lipstick in Popo, and as you can see, it's got the little SG marked on the lip on the bullet, which is really cute. down there. Pop And um, last but not least is Tom Ford's lipstick in Plush Nude. Which used to have the Tom Ford sign on it but I've used it up now so it's so that's Plush Nude. So that's them all there. Just go up and down. So they're all kind of similar <laughs> in the kind of similar family. So that is my lipstick collection part two. If you haven't seen part one you can go and check that out. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed it's either at the top of the video or down in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.